So, an awful lot of signs point to deflation and recession, all right? Question is, what's an investor to do? By the way, what's an ordinary person to do? Let's ask John Nigerian, co-founder of Market Rebellion, an old friend going back many, many years, uh, shall we say, from another network. John, welcome Thank on you, set. Lee. We appreciate it very Great much. Great to be here. I'm going to run a couple charts. Uh, let's run this Bloomberg commodities chart, if we can. And uh, John, you can have a look at it up on the full screen. Sure. It's a pretty sharp decline. I think it's down something like 30% in the last mm -hmm. year. Yep. And then let's run, uh, if we can run the M2 chart, if we can put that up. Because, uh, well, there's the CRB commodity index. There we go, M2. We have the best producers. In you business. do. Anyway, you can see the M2 chart kind of crashing down. And I guess the third one is the inverted yield curve where short-term rates are higher than long-term rates. There you go. You see it quite clearly on the center and right of your screen. Um, listen, no forecasting is perfect in life. Uh, you've been around for a long time, as I have. But these are traditionally deflationary and or recessionary signs. What do you make of it, and what does the stock market make of it? Well, we thought that there would be a lot more demand, in particular for the softs, uh, some of those commodities that are part of that CRB and so forth, because uh, the war in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. I mean, an awful lot of grain comes out of the Ukraine, so you'd, you would think that uh, many of the U.S. producers of oats and wheat would be just booming. Mm -hmm. And instead, they're down on the year. Mm -hmm. Down on the year, mm -hmm. despite the fact that it's really difficult to get anything out of Ukraine. Uh, Russia, likewise, obviously. And so where did all the demand go? And why are these inputs down and the prices are up? Uh, it sort of begs that question, too. Can't last. Right. So can, can you say the same thing about oil and energy? I mean, natural gas has really plunged. That's mm -hmm. a surprise. But yep. so the Saudis in Russia and OPEC Plus cut a million-something barrels of production, or so they say, mm -hmm. and they're considering another cut. But you don't see it. All prices are, I'm going to say, $70 a barrel more You're or right. less. You're mm right. -hmm. Um, I mean, that's a lack of demand, a, a lack of something. I don't know what it is. I, I think people have already cut back. We've seen a lot of trading down go on, uh, trading down from, for instance, the dine-in restaurants like mm -hmm. Cheesecake Factory and so forth um, to places like Chipotle mm -hmm. or Wingstop. Mm -hmm. That's been happening all year because the consumer's feeling, you know, the pinch. Their credit card debt is this high, mm -hmm. uh, and they're, they've worked through their savings. Not everybody, of course, but the big swath in the middle have worked through their savings. So that tells me that the recession could go deeper mm -hmm. depending how much higher the Fed chooses to take interest rates. Yeah, well, that's an interesting point. Um, I think the market expects them to go a quarter of a point. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't really know if they should. I mean, if I were they, I'd pause, but whatever. I'm not going to get excited about a quarter of a point. 